Uranus is the seventh planet from the Sun and the third largest planet in the solar system. Although Uranus is visible to the naked eye, it was long mistaken as a star because of the planet's dimness and slow orbit. The planet is also notable for its dramatic tilt, which causes its axis to point nearly directly at the Sun. British astronomer William Herschel discovered Uranus on March 13, 1781, with his telescope while surveying all stars down to those about 10 times dimmer than can be seen by the naked eye. One star seemed different, and within a year Herschel realized the star followed a planetary orbit. Uranus, as it was called commonly after 1850 or so, was named after the Greek sky deity Uranus, the earliest of the lords of the heavens. It is the only planet to be named after a Greek god rather than a Roman one. Before the name was settled on, many names had been proposed for the new planet, including Hypercronius, above Saturn, Minerva, the Roman goddess of wisdom, and Herschel, after its discoverer. To flatter King George III of England, Herschel proposed the name Georgium Sidus, the Georgian planet, but the idea was unpopular outside England and King George's native Hanover, Germany. German astronomer Johann Bode, who detailed Uranus' orbit, gave the planet its ultimate name. Bode argued that as Saturn was the father of Jupiter, the new planet should be named after the father of Saturn. Physical characteristics Uranus is blue green in color as a result of the methane in its mostly hydrogen helium atmosphere. The planet is often dubbed an ice Every giant, single one of the spherical moons of its has a smaller a surface area water, than the continent of Australia. Unlike All the these other factors the led to them system, becoming Uranus pretty forgotten. So, far that so setting a foot the on one of these moons the would not be very useful for humanity. But there is this one spherical moon, Miranda, to a which is one of the, the strangest body, places or in the solar bodies. system. Soon Likely, these formed. humans, what was done, a it looked very deformed, leading to today's strange surface of Miranda. Of or they might this find some other reason to as to why Miranda is so weird looking. This After that mission, that humans will likely head year, back to the Earth, to meaning for another 10 years of traveling directly over space. Leaving the now other here's another important thing that would pose a problem throughout winter. the whole trip and Uranus even on Miranda, that is low the gravity. The solar Our system, human body even is adapted is to the constant gravity the of the Earth. This That's constant force has little till to the no day that we die, and the sudden change of that would in a short time not be noticeable, but going on a mission that will take around two decades, their body would suffer greatly, as their bones would start losing density, they wouldn't be able to return to Earth with high gravity, and their blood flow would change, and their heart would suffer because of that. Many more of the side effects could be developed, which could lead to death. Unless humans know how to create surface. an artificial gravity and efficiently get all the food stored for such a long time, unless that, the mission to Uranus would just not be very much possible with about technology. But likely, in a couple of decades, Uranus in the future, when humanity does develop the technology mentioned, then a mission to Uranus would be possible. The best scenario is that we would put its the human crew is made in a state of, a of water, hibernation, and add artificial gravity, as well as a and then set off the Uranus. Then a mission Uranus from human crew's eyes from the sun would seem like one second, miles, since it would be like sleep. That one second would be NASA. 10 years. That's about and it would be safe, the but until that technology is made, we are just not in ability of? to visit Uranus. The, the mission would most likely be fatal. Of gas and so liquid. we should keep on developing so new technology so we can finally visit other worlds and the see sun. what interesting secrets Like the other gas hide. and ice giants, Uranus has a thick cloud cover. Its blue-green color is the result of methane in its atmosphere. Click on the interactive image below to explore the planet Uranus climate. The extreme axial tilt Uranus experiences can give rise to unusual weather. As sunlight reaches some areas for the first time in years, it heats up the atmosphere, triggering gigantic springtime storms, according to NASA. However, when Voyager 2 first imaged Uranus in 1986 at the height of summer in its south, the spacecraft saw a bland-looking sphere with only about 10 or so visible clouds, leading to it to be dubbed the most boring planet wrote astronomer Heidi Hamill in the ice giant systems of Uranus and Neptune, a chapter in Solar System Update, Springer, 2007, a compilation of reviews in solar system science. It was decades later, 
When advanced telescopes such as Hubble came into play and Uranus long seasons changed before scientists witnessed the extreme weather on Uranus. In 2014, astronomers got their first glimpse at summer storms raging on Uranus. Strangely, these massive storms took place seven years after the planet reached its closest approach to the sun, and it remains a mystery why the giant storms occurred after the sun's heating on the planet was at a maximum. Other unusual weather on Uranus includes diamond rain, which is thought to sink thousands of miles below the surface of icy giant planets such as Uranus and Neptune. Carbon and hydrogen are thought to compress under extreme heat and pressure deep in the atmospheres of these planets to form diamonds, which are then thought to sink downward, eventually settling around the cores of those worlds. Does Uranus have rings? The rings of Uranus were the first to be seen after Saturn's. They were a significant discovery because it helped astronomers understand that rings are a common feature of planets, not merely a peculiarity of Saturn. Uranus possesses two sets of rings. The inner system of rings consists mostly of narrow, dark rings, while an outer system of two more distant rings, discovered by the Hubble Space Telescope, are brightly colored, one red, one blue. Scientists have identified 13 known rings around Uranus. A 2016 study suggested that the rings of Uranus, Saturn, and Neptune may be the remnants of Pluto-like dwarf planets that strayed too close to the giant worlds long ago. These dwarf planets were torn apart in the planet's vast gravities and are today preserved as rings. How many moons does Uranus have? Uranus has 27 known moons. Instead of being named after figures from Greek or Roman mythology, its first four moons were named after magical spirits in English literature, such as William Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream and Alexander Pope's The Rape of the Lock. Since then, astronomers have continued this tradition, drawing names for the moons from the works of Shakespeare or Pope. Oberon and Titania are the largest Uranian moons and were the first to be discovered by Herschel in 1787. William Lassell, who was also the first to see a moon orbiting Neptune, discovered Uranus' next two moons, Ariel and Umbriel. Nearly a century passed before Dutch-American astronomer Gerard Kuiper, of Kuiper Belt fame, found Miranda in 1948. In 1986, Voyager 2 visited the Uranian system and discovered an additional 10 moons, all just 16 to 96 miles, 26 to 154 kilometers, in diameter, Juliet. Puck, Cordelia, Ophelia, Bianca, Desdemona, Portia, Rosalind, Cressida, and Belinda. Each of those moons are roughly half water ice and half rock. Since then, astronomers using Hubble and ground-based observatories have raised the total to 27 known moons, and spotting these was tricky. They are as little as 8 to 10 miles, 12 to 16 kilometers, across blacker than asphalt and nearly 3 billion miles, 4.8 billion kilometers, away. Between Cordelia, Ophelia, and Miranda are a swarm of eight small satellites crowded together so tightly that astronomers don't yet understand how the little moons have managed to avoid crashing into each other. Anomalies in Uranus rings lead scientists to suspect there might still be more moons. In addition to moons, Uranus may have a collection of Trojan asteroids, objects that share the same orbit as the planet, in a special region known as a Lagrange point. The first was discovered in 2013, despite claims that the planet's Lagrange point would be too unstable to host such bodies. Uranus exploration. NASA's Voyager 2 was the first and as yet only spacecraft to visit Uranus. Although there isn't a spacecraft on its way to Uranus at the moment, astronomers regularly check in with the planet using the Hubble and Keck telescopes. In 2011, the Planetary Science Decadal Survey recommended that NASA consider a mission to the icy planet. And in 2017, NASA suggested a number of potential future missions to Uranus in support of the forthcoming Planetary Science Decadal Survey, including flybys, orbiters, and even a spacecraft to dive into Uranus' atmosphere. Scientists are still discussing the idea. In 2019, NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center suggested one possible design could involve an atmospheric probe, similar to the one used in Jupiter during the Galileo mission. 
In 2018, an ambitious group of early career scientists and engineers created a theoretical full mission design that would cost $1 billion and take advantage of a planetary alignment that would happen in the 2030s. At that relatively low cost, the mission would perform minimal science, but could still include items such as a magnetometer, a methane detector, and a camera. Related, Uranus by 2049. Here's why scientists want NASA to send a flagship mission to the strange planet. 